Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. Now, June is a wonderful month, and there is plenty of energy coming at you, and there's plenty of energy coming to you from the stars. And this is what that means for your sign. The full moon in Sagittarius forms a T-square to Neptune in Pisces. Aquarius, the full moon on June 2nd falls in your 11th house of friends and associates. Now, you may feel a real need to reach out and help others through volunteer efforts or other groups. Be wise and compassionate, but don't be manipulated by shady stories. There is an undercurrent of emotional energy that can be confusing. Bring your best efforts to meetings and seminars, and you may make some important contacts. Now, the t squared of Neptune in your second house of finances brings either confusion or illumination. <laughs> you need to be clear-headed when it comes to finances. Your heart is open, but you need to be practical. Invest some time in developing your own intuition and creativity. Mercury turns direct on June 11th in Gemini, then Mars conjuncts the Sun on June 14th. Aquarius, Mercury turns direct motion on the 11th in your fifth house, and the power of your concentration will improve, and your ability to communicate becomes more clear, and this will help eliminate any confusion and bring a new sense of direction in creative projects and romantic pursuits. Now, this will be very important on the 14th when Mars conjuncts the Sun and your pleasure principle is on target. Take your best shot. This is the perfect time to order a transit chart for the next 12 months or a personal psychic reading by phone. Find out more at ProfessorAstrology.com. Jupiter in Leo trines Uranus and Aries on June 22nd. Aquarius, Jupiter continues his transit through Leo and your seventh house of partners. Opportunities for growth and expansion come from joining your energy and vision with like-minded people. You're attracted to people who are willing to cooperate to better the world since you all know that success comes through sharing. The powerful trying to Uranus in your third house of mind may bring an unexpected opportunity to express your ideas in a compelling and brilliant manner. And that can get you a lot of attention. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. If you'd like more accurate information, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll find a way to order a transit chart based on your time, date, and place of birth, and it will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening, and please have a great month.